Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Our theme for this time of reflection out of Proverbs chapter 17 is, is kind of a call for each one of us. And here's the calling. Be a source of healing. You and I can become a source of healing for others. Listen to these words found in Proverbs 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Listen to that one more time. A cheerful heart is good medicine. If you are a person of cheer, a person of celebration, a person who can, in the midst of the pain and realities of, of all the challenges of life, recognize that you can have joy and celebration and delight, that will be good medicine to your bones, to your life, to your own health, and it will be good medicine to the people around you. Now, being a person of cheer isn't a phony, plastic smile and acting like everything's fine when it's not. It's recognizing that in the pain of life and the struggles of real life, we can find delight and celebration and joy in the midst of whatever we're facing. I preached on this topic recently and I had two different doctors come and talk to me and actually say, you know, you know what you talked about today, and this is not just this passage, but other ones about how a life of joy and fun and celebration and delight actually are a blessing to the heart of God, a blessing to us, and they bring healing to us. I had two different doctors say, it's absolutely true. A person that has a better disposition, more joyful, more celebration, they will be healthier. They, they breathe better, their minds work better, everything about them works better. There's something about being a person of cheer. But then listen to the second part of this passage. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones, not just of ourselves, but of others. So here's the current encouragement to you. It's not act like everything's fine. It's not put on a plastic smile. And whenever people ask you how you're doing, you say, fantastic. But it's in the middle of real life, understanding that you can find joy. You can find delight. That we've got to breathe deeply the good gifts of God, recognize his goodness. And even like the apostle Paul in the city of Philippi, after he was beaten within an inch of his life, was singing late into the night and God delivered him you can, in the midst of the challenges of life, find joy and delight and celebration. And when you do, it will bring life into your own bones, your own soul, your own life, and the people around you. And in those times of pain, be honest with your struggles, but also recognize that if you live in that pain only, and that permeates who you are and goes to others, it will also dry the bones of the people around you. So find those things to be cheerful about. Find the things to celebrate and authentically give glory to God. Would you pray with me? Living God, we thank you that in the midst of a world with real challenges and real pain, you breathe life and hope, delight, and we can be people of cheer. And Lord, that when we are, it is healing. It is life-giving for us and the people around us. May we be people who know the goodness of who you are. May this bring us to a place of delight and joy and cheer. And may that change us and the people around us, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, if you're part of a local church, connect with your church uh, this coming weekend. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we meet online and on campus at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock Sunday mornings. You're welcome to join us. God bless you. Have a great day.